OCD uh, washes his hands numerous times a day. Which of the following is an appropriate intervention for this compliance? Sounds like a missing student. I need to know. We're always supposed to wash our hands numerous times. Okay. Here we go. So we are looking for appropriate interventions for a patient with OCD. Of, um, Obsessive compulsive disorder. So it's a compulsion disorder. Basically, our patients do not have control over ritualistic um, activities they do over and over and over again. So if you guys saw my video in a few questions back about OCD, pretty much explained everything I'm going to explain again right now. You have obsession and compulsion. Obsession are ritual thoughts. Compulsion are ritual actions. In this question, we are talking about a patient washing their hands over again, okay? Same thing um, as anything. Your patient uh, has thoughts of whatever over and over and over again. They are controlled by these um, rituals. They do not have control over them, but they think that it's supposed to bring them some type of relief in the end. So... We are supposed to not stop the patient. We are supposed to, as nurses, the best nursing intervention we can do is structure schedules to have them basically structure a schedule for activities. So our option for, first option here, structured schedule for activities will help them to kind of um, break the cycle and decrease the OCD, or basically the compulsion disorders. If we allow them to have a free schedule, they'll be doing the same things over and over and over again. And we'll give them more opportunity to fall back into their compulsion behavior. Our main goal in nursing is to decrease this compulsive behavior. And we do this by relieving them by providing other avenues of compulsion. For instance, your patient's dehydrated. Every hour, give them eight ounces of water between meals. That was actually another question I said. Though. So that's helping your patient be, or basically having your patient um, still be in this ritualistic stage without having them um, do anything that is unhealthy. We are promoting health in this situation. We're having them drink water. Um, if we schedule your patient for activities, we're providing opportunity for them to be active in tasks. So for instance, folding sheets would be a great um, uh, avenue for your patients to be perfectionists in. Because OCD patients love perfectionism. So that's a safe environment for them to um, kind of use their OCD to their benefit. So having a structured schedule of activities, it's very structured, every single day is the same, you can add different activities in time slots, but as long as you have structured activities throughout the day that are consistent, that is probably the best for your OCD patient. Go on to our next question.